How's it going guys? Welcome back. It's been quite a minute and we're ready to dive right back into it. As you guys can see to my left, we have the A3 MQB 2.0T. This is our new project car and we're going to break it down from totally stock all the way to stage 3. First things first guys, we need to take care of our fluids. Oil change, DSG, rear differential if you're all drive, lucky me. I'm going to show you how to do it properly and what kind of tools you might need doing the job. So. Let's dive right into it. I know you guys might think an oil change is quite basic and you don't need to watch a video on it, but you know I'm an Audi tech and I have a good amount of experience in this and I want to give you some techniques and some of the things I use. First things first, what oil should you use? Guys, if you look at your oil cap, it says Castrol. I like sticking with OEM stuff. It's OEM quality. You know they're not going to let you down. I use Castrol 5W30, full synthetic with the Dexos. Why? It's the best oil in my opinion. You can go with the uh, diesel oils, crazy additives, but this stuff right here, it's proven to work. Next thing, I'm going to use an OEM filter. The other brands, you know, they're aftermarket. This was made for this car. Why not use it? There's not like you're going to get higher flow. This is the best you can get out there in my opinion. First step guys to change your oil is getting the car up to operating temperature. It's going to be a little easier for the oil to come out of the car warm. To start this oil change off guys, let's remove this cover. Pop it off, set it to the side. Next we're going to pop this oil cap off, not all the way. We don't want debris to go into it. Kind of set it off so air can enter into it. Next, grab a rag. We're going to remove the dipstick. There we go. Wipe it off. Let's go set it off to the side. Let's not make it dirty. As you guys can see, this is our oil sucking device. You can buy this from Harbor Freight. It has this little attachment here. And I'm about to hook it up and it's going to make some noises and we're going to start sucking some oil. So you're going to hit the bottom right here. Got to kind of feel it through. Some, you can usually blow through it. All right, she's not going, but sometimes you can hit it and it'll go around it. It didn't go past it, so once it bends and it warms up, then you can go past it. While it's sucking the oil, I'm going to pop the oil filter off. You're going to use a 34 millimeter socket. I'm going to lift it up slightly here, tip to the side, let the oil drain for a minute, and then we'll come back to it. Let's go ahead and pop the filter off now. Perfect. Let's bring it over to the bench. Well, I have this out of here. I'm going to clean it up. It's always nice to have a clean housing. You don't want any dirt to get in there. All right. Set that down. Now, grab your pick. Pop this. Push it in there. Nice click. With all the residual oil, you want to lube this O-ring up. You guys see that it's bigger right there? should really honestly clean that up real quick. Here we go. Do not get it in this top groove. You see it can go in there, but there we go. All right, let's go put this back in the car. Spin it the opposite way to kind of hit the groove first. Nothing too crazy. See that, guys? That's tight enough. All right. You guys can see in here, 
you can kind of hear it. It's uh, barely sucking off anything. Just gonna try to, I can't get it past, so we're gonna leave it there. Pull this back. Put your dead state back in. All right, let's put some oil on this thing. Side, clean that up. You don't want anything getting in there. Most of you guys are probably pro out there in pouring oil, but I'm not, so I got a nice funnel here. Um, they say it takes 4.8 quarts to 5.2. That's really where it's at, you know. So I'm just gonna pour the whole five. Go from there, I can always suck some out, but five should get it right, get the job done. Go ahead and put the oil cap back on. If you wanna be crazy, I like to have this facing this orientation, it's proper. Now we're gonna go ahead and start the car for five seconds. Shut it down, we're gonna check oil level. After starting the car up for five seconds, or when you hear that there's no more rattling or anything, go ahead and turn it off. We're gonna wait a minute or two for the oil to get down to the oil pan. Now let's check the oil level. First go around, go ahead and wipe it off. We go. So, can you see that? You guys see the oil's right at the bottom there. We put in five quarts. It calls for 5.2. So I'm gonna put in actually, usually when you're at the bottom, you can actually throw in a whole quart and it'll get you to the very top. I'm gonna do half the bottle, get right in the middle, and go from there. After pouring that half a quart, wait for it to go back down. All right, let's check it. There you go, guys. Let me wipe that off, honestly. Give you a better reading. Boom. And time it says, look at that. Half quart gets us right up to the half hash mark. I'm going to leave it there, and we'll check up on it later after I do some other things, just to make sure. But we're good to go. Let's put the engine cover back on. Oil change is complete now. Trick to putting this cover back on, guys, because who knows where to put this. I usually put my finger on the hole, line it up with that oh, right there. Perfect. Cool. All right, guys, you changed your oil successfully. Well, good job. Next on the list of things to do, we've got a DSG fluid change. See you in the next video.